Hello, this movie will feature defining CWPs in smart plant construction. Uh, as you well know, you've always been able to define installation work packages, but we've uh, upgraded smart plant construction now to allow you to define construction work packages and specify various criteria uh, for what actually is placed into the construction work package by using queries and filters and be able to access those filters that you may create from the three-dimensional model. So a sample here is if uh, uh, you could use filters, you could use selection rules to, to individually select components or spools or assemblies and, and to be able to save that out is a filter for later usage. Uh, not only to be able to, uh, to save that for usage here in a three-dimensional model but also those would be exposed within the, the interface for creating construction work packages. So when you actually look at your queries, you would see those. You can add those to your selection uh, set for the actual and collect those components uh, and save those to that construction work package. And this can be queued up uh, for large queries and, and uh, large filters. Uh, of that type and then you can see what has actually been collected into the construction work package. So you have an interface for maintaining, editing, and deleting and modifying uh, the definition of that construction work package. And then those are exposed automatically as a filter now under your CWP filters where you can apply those filters uh, and see uh, not only the filters that you once created but a composite uh, definition of that construction work package so that you can view uh, those in the model and apply those over time, hide those, turn those to different colors, schedule those, and animate those over time.